the sun is shining, the birds are chirping, the bacon is sizzling. Welcome to the Daily Swole. Welcome, everyone, to episode 55, the 55 episode of the Daily Mother Swole, and I am here to absolutely rage today. I'm here to rage. I was working out just now, so my pre-workout's kind of, you know, weaning down, plus I got my coffee right here, my Bulletproof coffee, so I am ridiculously amped, plus I have a good pump, I had a great workout, and one of the things I want to talk about is the fact that I'm still seeing the most ridiculous, outlandish, absurd shit in the world at my gym. I, it's, a, it's a gym where you get a lot of, um, we're getting a lot of like Russians, a lot of Europeans. It's not so much Latin. I mean, there are the, like the biggest, fakest, most ridiculous, stupid looking asses I've ever seen in my life. I don't, like literally fake butts. I don't understand why women do this. Uh, breasts, I can understand the asses. They just don't look good. You can't convince me that anything that you do down there looks good because trust me, it doesn't. Um, <laughs> you don't see what I see if you have any other opinions. Now, in the gym, I don't understand where this stuff comes from, okay? I don't understand where this stuff comes from because if you look at, like, at a fitness book, at a basic fitness book, it's like bench press, barbell row, shoulder press, barbell squat, lunge, bicep curl, triceps, skull crushers. There's a basic movements. Every joint pretty much has, like you know, there's different varieties, maybe the angles, but the basics. There's like one or two things for every body part. If you do that regularly and increase the weight over time, you'll be balanced. You'll be fine. You just need one exercise per body part. You really do. You really do. All this crazy variety, increase the weight, work harder, eat more. It's so basic. Fitness is so basic. You could really whittle it down and see great results. One of the biggest I've ever gotten over a summer in college was when I worked out in the basement. I used my stepfather's uh, homemade squat rack out of like telephone poles and all the just dirty old barbells. And I just did basic lifts all summer. I got fucking huge because I worked out hard like an animal. And the stuff that I see from kettlebells, I mean, yeah, God, there's some benefits. But man, if you want to build muscle, you don't need kettlebells. You don't need kettlebell swings. It's just ways of time. Waste of time. It's things that risk injury that people don't know how to do properly. It's just fancy shit that you see that try to sell books, that tries to sell functional exercise. When the fuck are you lifting a kettlebell? When the hell do you lift a kettlebell? Understand that if you lift a kettlebell, you get better at lifting a kettlebell. What in your daily life has any resemblance to a kettlebell? A purse. When does your purse weigh like 30 kilos? You know, I mean, think about like the functionality of a kettlebell. It's the most retarded looking thing. It's the most awkward shaped object and there's no fucking purpose to it. When do you ever lift a kettlebell besides lifting a kettlebell? All right. Holy shit. I am on fire. I'm on fire. That's not even a big deal because I know kettlebells have purposes. They work your core. You can do Turkish get-ups. If you're ever lying on the ground with your arm overhead and you're getting up with your, you know, you're in some serious trouble. You're in some serious. You're in some serious shit. If you have to hold a heavy weight over your head as you get up off the ground with one arm, I'm all right. I'm getting off topic because I'm not really hating on that. It's a tough exercise. I'm not saying it's easy. It's completely different. Easy and doing anything worthwhile is completely separate topics. Okay, so ah, drowning in a lake of fire. What is that Johnny Cash song? Jesus. There's a case in there. Yeah, if you're drowning in a fire lake, trust me, the apocalypse is not going to be saved by kettlebell swings. <laughs> Turkish getup, you know? All right, let's get into some just terrible exercises, form, shit that should be banished from the face of the earth, you know? And this is what I was saying in the car. I did a whole Snapchat rage on the way back from the gym. I think maybe that's the definition of third world countries and why people flood the United States. Maybe we have good form here because the people that are coming over on planes, on boats, swimming, whatever, however the fuck they're getting here, their form is atrocious. Their form is atrocious, and they have the same body parts as I do. They have the same bodies. I don't know where these Europeans, these Russians are getting some of this shit, but my Lord, 
they're being taught by blind monkeys that have seizures and they're like, oh, let me just copy that. Unreal stuff, unreal stuff. And I'll explain some of the other things. The one I'm going to go over is some exercise that you'll see in your gym. And then I'll kind of go into a couple of things that I've seen that it's not commonplace. It's just, what the hell was that? And I don't even know if I could really explain it. Uh, oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. All right, let's do this. Server curls. What's a server curl? Fucking dead on. What the hell is a server curl? It doesn't exist. It shouldn't exist. I'm making up a name for it because it's absurd. Server waiter curls, a curl that like looks like you're like, you know, halfway and you're going like this, Mm. Mm. like you're holding a tray of chicken wings. Yeah. What is this shit? Straighten out your fucking elbow. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Now this goes beyond like, oh, well, not everyone knows everything that you know, Dash. Give me a fucking break. You're trying to work your bicep and your elbow joint. Why would you not move it? Why would you not move it? Straighten out your arm and then bend your arm. It's a simple exercise. The bicep curl is the easiest thing you could do on planet earth. You're just bending your arm. I mean, why are you, please, please at least open your eyes. Maybe you're closing your eyes when you're lifting. I don't know. Maybe you have like nasty cataracts and you can't see your horrific fucking form in the mirror. Oh my God, I'm amped. This is good. This is fucking gold. I'm going off, all right? Don't take it personally. Don't go crying. Oh my God, I do server curls all the time. Just take it like, wow, that's true. My form is absolute dog shit. Moving on, back extension. Back extension, or the, the machine is just, that's beyond, I don't even, I'm not even gonna waste my breath on the machine. But when you're hanging the hyper extension, when you're hanging over the edge and people fucking grab a plate and a 45 and a 25 and even do it without plate, those... That's a waste of metal, that apparatus. I know a lot of you probably do it. Well, smack yourself upside the fucking head and never do it again, okay? It shouldn't be called the back hyperextension. It should be called, let me try to herniate and rip my ligaments and rip my vertebral discs apart. Let me try. Let me see if I can permanently injure myself today. Let me do three sets of trying to fuck myself up. That's really what it is. The back, ex- the hyper extension. That is the biggest waste of fucking time. You cannot convince me why that would be good. Let me turn my lower back, which is supposed to have limited flexion and extension in order to provide stability in my lower spine. Let me see if I can make it a fulcrum and just fucking put all my force and all my torque of my upper body, my entire upper torso, and hang off the edge, keeping it straight. You know what? That's not enough. Let me load up, a- let me hold a fucking plate. Let me hold a 25 pound, you know what? 25 pound plate, nah, I don't know about that. Let me hold a 45 pound plate and just hang off the edge and fucking swing up and down. I just, why? Why on earth would you do that? I saw this one woman, oh my, I saw this one woman do it today. This one chick did today and she had a great body. She was hot and she was with some guy, some other freaking mook. So, she was doing that, and then later on, they're doing exercise. She's like grabbing her back and kind of like, oh, my back hurts. And I saw her, like, you know, her words and like, you know, what she was kind of doing. She was saying that she forgot her belt, you know, and you know, the belt helps support her. Maybe it's because you just did three garbage sets on the back hyperextension and you fucked your back up. It was just mind blowing. Like, she's injuring herself, and she's like, oh, I forgot my belt. Yeah, that would help. Why don't you just put a belt on top? That's like putting a Band-Aid on a fucking artery, you know, and it's bleeding everywhere. Like, oh my God, his leg's blown apart. Get me a fucking Band-Aid. Yeah, you stick it inside the wound. It's, it was re- stupid. It's stupid shit. That's right, Sassy McTits. Fucking ridiculous. Sassy McTits on Periscope. Repping it hard. Had a, had a baby sass. Sassy McTits. Fucking love that name. All right, the hack squat, or whatever you're going to call this shit, facing the machine. You know the squat? I did in a video. I do it rarely, and it bothers my knees, so I really don't do it anymore. Very rarely do they find a good one where you have the pad here and the elevated thing, and you squat down. It goes on your shoulders. What the fuck is going on with people facing the machine? When did that become popular? When did that become a thing? I see this on Instagram, these chicks, and they put a towel here, and they stick their butt back, and they drive forward. They're pretending like it's working their fucking glutes. Good mornings are bad enough. Now people are doing this like reverse fucking hack squat bullshit. I see their cervical spine just compressing into the pad. (laughs) Fuck. You absolute upside down 
black and white ass clown. Fucking get in Technicolor and read a book. Just to open your, why? The machine doesn't even do that. You know, let me just, how about this? Let me lock my legs in position. Let me extend my neck so it's almost snapping. I don't care about C1 and C2. Who gives a shit? Let me just bend my neck back. Let me put a, let me put a towel on my head so I don't, you know, s- absorb in my forehead everyone else's back sweat. And let me just bend my butt back and thrust it forward. There's no resistance there. There's nothing there. Do a squat. Do a lunge. Stop wasting your time and stop trying to snap your neck in half. It's making me nauseous. Okay? I don't, don't, just don't do it. You don't need it. You don't need it. For every, I don't care if there's a perfect machine. I don't care if there's a great looking girl. Oh my God, her ass is amazing and she's doing that. Yeah, that's genetic or everything else she does. It's not from that. Do a hip bridge with weight. Put a bar on your, on your, like, you know, on your hips and go off a bench and do a hip bridge. Do a squat, do a lunge, done. You don't need that. Swear, I promise you. And that goes right into my next exercise. I'm just going after all these Instagram freaking bimbos. These girls that are 19, 20, 21 years old, or all these girls that are on juice doing these exercises, and everyone's like, oh my God, you know, booty blast, this is my butt. And they post these like videos of them doing their ass workouts. I watch that and I'm like, it's a miracle. It's genetic because your form is absolute dog shit. Your form is dog shit. These little low hop squats that don't work the glutes and they say it works your ass. It doesn't. I'm sorry, you're not working your ass when it's com- the muscle's completely extended. You're not. You're working your quads and you're bouncing off your calves. You're just jacking up your, you know, your quadriceps tendon. It's just, you're not working your glutes. You're not, you're not. I'm sorry, you're not. Oh no, but I have a nice butt. Yeah, well, science just proves that the, those neurons don't fire when the muscle's that extended. It doesn't happen, all right? Oof. So these girls that strap these cables onto their legs and they have the machine, I wish you guys could see this, and they lean and they go forward and they kick back and they kick back and they kick back and they lean forward. Fuck are you doing? What are you doing leaning forward? What are you doing leaning forward? Oh, you're trying to get your leg up high? Oh, you mean the glutes don't really, you mean, you mean the femur doesn't extend past like maybe like 30 degrees? It doesn't really, it doesn't do that, does it? When you're standing up, you only get about 30 degrees of extension. Okay, so why are you leaning forward? How is that getting you anymore? Are you, you, you want to just stretch your other leg in the meantime? It's just fun for you. You think going a little bit higher and compensating with every other body part is getting you a nicer butt? It's not. It's not. It's not. You're you're wasting your time. You're better off staying there, sucking your stomach in, tucking your hips, and going really short. That'll get you a nicer butt. Go do some lunges. Go do some squats and do it properly. It's re- I see this is the craziest shit, the craziest shit. Stop leaning forward when you kick back. Stand up straight. I want everyone to do this right now, which you probably won't, but try it. Stand up, suck your stomach in, and tuck your pelvis. Pretend like your hips are a bucket of water, and you're trying to pour water out the back end. Raise one leg off the ground, and in that position, without moving anything with your hips, just move your leg back as far as you can, without arching your back and leaning forward. It goes back like a foot. Boom. There's your femur extension. There's your glutes. That's as far as you got, homie. That's as far as you got. Okay? You want to do a synergistic movement? You want to do a synergistic movement? Do a squat, do a lunge. If you're trying to isolate the glutes, then fucking do it right. You're wasting your time. You look like a clown. For anyone that knows what they're doing, they're looking at you and laughing. Everyone that doesn't know that you're doing it wrong is getting suckered and thinking that, wow, she's doing the exercise right. She works out so hard. No, she's 20 years old and she hasn't gotten overweight yet because she's just like that. Okay? All these little girls getting sponsored online on Instagram and all oh, fitness, fit life, hashtag, you know, in the gym, gym life. Yeah, squats for days. You're fucking 18. You're 19. You're like a fucking brand new car. Of course you smell like new car. You know, <laughs> of course your paint job looks great. You're fucking like, you know, you were just born. Like, you know, <laughs> you haven't like, <laughs> you haven't been through life enough to develop muscle. That's just genetics. You are thin like that. You're thin like that. Congratulations. You're a thin girl. Yeah, it's not squat life. It's not fit life. Hashtag, you know, hashtag booty team ass or whatever the fuck they do on, on you know, the hashtags now. You know, leg squad, you know, girl squad, you know, taking their, sticking their leg back and taking an ass picture. Stupid. Girls are stupid. 
Oh, God. Let that sink in. Dumb fucking girls. Oh, God. Genetics. That's where genetics comes into play. When you have someone who's like 17, these guys are 17, you know, sticks like they're straight out of freaking Twilight. Yeah, abs, going to the gym, gym bro. Yeah. yeah, a baby. I'm 33, but I've been lifting for 16 years. So, you know, I've built muscle. You can't tell me that when someone's 18 and they're just like natural like that. It's like, oh, yeah, you work so hard. No, you just like that. Don't act like it's all this hard work that you've done. You're not getting bulky when you're 17, 18. You're still growing. You're not getting muscle at that age. Okay, that was fun. How about the bench seizure? How about the bench seizure? Someone who goes on the bench press and they somehow forgot that they put a, you know, they dumped out a box of scorpions on the bench and they're just getting stabbed and their butt is shaking around like they're trying to do the Macarena while they're on the bench press. Yo, lock your body out. Stop squirming like a little bitch and press. Stop shifting around or drop the weight. Focus on your chest. Just push. Why are you moving your hips around like that, dude? Just do it right. Lower the bar to your chest and push. Focus. Stop squirming like a little puss. Just push. Drop the weight. I don't care if you lift 10 pounds or 1,000 pounds. I'm not trying to emasculate people because, oh, you're not strong. I don't care. Everyone starts somewhere. That's not the point. Do it right. Stop squirming around. Stop being so dramatic when you work out. Drop the weight and do it right. That's all I have to say about that. The bench seizure. And I'm not talking about arching your back on the bench. I'm not getting into like, oh, is it good to arch? Is it good for powerlifting, packing the shoulders? I'm not getting into that whole argument or debate. It's not really a debate. It's a different purpose. Uh, but the squirm, like moving around and, you know, shifting the legs, you know, lifting the butt when you push, lowering it when you don't. Dude, there's enough information. There's enough common sense. And that's enough in the mainstream with fitness that you should know that that's ridiculous. And if anyone's spotting you, or you're working out with anyone, they should just, you know, slap, slap their nuts on your face and just snap you out of it, you know, and teach you a lesson. The seated leg curl. Last one before I tell you a story that I saw today of just a complete, utter retardation. Uh, seated leg curl. When you're sitting and you have the pad that hooks on top of your thighs and you have another pad that goes under your leg for the curl and maybe even below your knee on top for um, to s- fucking lock your body out in four positions instead of three. Out of control. That seated leg curl should be just melted down along with the back extension. There is so much metal in this country that could be used to make more barbells, more fucking weights that work. You know, we could use this to build houses for the homeless. We're wasting this fucking metal with machines that are absolute dog shit. And who are these companies that are selling these things? Who are these gym owners? Who are these? You know, if you're starting a gym and you're and you want like a consultation, you can message me. You know, I'll put something together, the machines and the equipment that you should get for your home gym or for your actual membership gym. Because some of these exercises, you're wasting five, ten thousand dollars on things that are absolutely dangerous and a waste of fucking time, and no one should even have them in the gym. Seated leg curl is is garbage. It's absolute trash. You know, first off, it's a closed chain exercise. Your upper body and your lower body is locked, but you're locked in three positions. It's limiting your knee rotation at the same time. Your back's coming off. It straps you down. And not to mention, it's putting pressure on the actual muscle tissue, which is limiting the ability of the muscle to lengthen and contract. You're just pinning everything in every different way. And it's just a waste of time. The prone one's different. Do an RDL, do a stiff leg deadlift. Just just don't do that. Just don't do that machine. If you're sitting down and you're pulling the legs down and your legs are, you know, you're in a seated position and the legs are going down, this is terrible. I can't even demonstrate it. But the seated leg curl machine, seated leg curl machine, melt it down, make a ladder instead, you know, or anything else of your choice that's made out of a hard, durable material. So I'm in the gym today and, um, you know, the, the calf raise, the standing calf raise machine pads here. I see this guy talking to this girl. He's standing there. And I thought he was just fucking around, just kind of messing around. No, he was doing a set. He was holding it and pressing it. Pressing the the calf raise machine. Is there any more? Like, if you were were trying, be like, what can I do to waste my time? What can I... 
what's the stupidest exercise I could possibly fucking do right now? Oh, you know what? Let me take the calf raise machine and let me make it like a shoulder press. First off, this guy had two anterior deltoids on each arm. This guy probably worked shoulders three times a week and never worked his back in his life. This guy was a walking deltoid, a walking anterior deltoid, just veins popping out and just absolute black hole absence of, you know, any kind of definition on the back. This guy was a standard, wow, I look in the mirror and I work what I see. It was ridiculous. This guy was doing a shoulder press. I mean, you have to actively think, what can I press in this gym? You know, that's almost as good as like going inversion on like a lat pull down and pushing the machine down or something like that. Weird. Like, holy shit. Who would, why are you doing that? Why are you pushing the machine? Yo, grab some dumbbells at least or go do some. Oh, I just couldn't believe. I'm so tired of people using equipment for things that's not designed for. Those Leg, leg, leg machines, leg abduction where the girl, you know, you push your legs out to the side, like the gyneco- gynecologist uh, machine, and girls are like standing up, and as they go down, they're pushing, like they're leaning forward, and they're standing up out of the seat. What the fuck are you doing? These chicks just like try to manipulate, just try to do all these weird things. I don't know where this stuff, I think someone does it on YouTube, and then someone else sees it and like, like, oh, oh, you do that? Let me do that, but then go a little bit higher. Let me do that, but let me change it. Like, they try to one-up. It's like they're they're betting, like they're playing poker. Like, I'll do that, and I'll add this to mix it up. And they feel cool because it's different, and they don't feel immediate pain. You know? There's just so many exercises. Bottom line, there's so many exercises that are better. Exercise is basic. It's simple. It's straightforward. Joints do a couple different things. Do an exercise that does that. Get off these machines. Start doing free weights. You'll hit more musculature. You hit stabilizers that machines don't get. Just stop wasting your fucking time. Get Arnold's book, The History of Bodybuilding or the Encyclopedia. That's a big book. It's just simple. It's simple. Chest, push. Back, pull. Shoulders, raise, push. Squats, lunges, plank, done. It's simple. Curl, extension. If the joint bends, bend it. If the joint extends, extend it. It's simple. The basic exercise will be safer. All this extra fancy stuff. I'm not saying you can't add variety. I'm not saying you can't do other exercises. I'm just getting a little amped up and I'm exaggerating you know, slightly. But some of these things that people do are just, first off, their form is terrible or they're doing an exercise that is really just, you don't need it. And if you're going to do it for a little holy hell, do it right. At least do it right. At least work the muscle. Stop cheating. Stop thinking about your ego. Stop trying to put on weight. Stop always trying to go up, up, up because your form keeps suck, 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 sucks. Slow it down. Slow it down. Drop the weight. Check your form. Learn. Watch my channel. Just learn stuff. Learn stuff. Cross-check it with other resources. I mean, like, and use common sense. Please use common sense. I feel like everyone should take a course before they're even allowed to go into a gym. When you think about it, people just let, they let people go into a gym and just lift weights. Shit. People are just going in there hurting themselves. The only problem is they're not hurting themselves right now. They're hurting themselves for the rest of their life. They're like slowly wearing their weight joints. They're slowly creating compensations. They're slowly creating chronic back pain and neck pain and shoulder pain. They're just wearing away, wearing away, just fucking wearing it down. People are too, these guys are taking classes. They're doing a yoga class, doing my yoga class, and they're going and doing a group body works class or body sculpt, whatever the fuck that means. And they're going upstairs and doing spinning. They're doing three hours of classes in a row with bad form the whole way through. I mean, I, I believe the overtraining. I was talking to some guy after a class, and he's like, yeah, well, you look like you work out like four hours a day. I'm like, dude, I work out less than four hours. I probably work out four hours a week. Like, I, you know, you, the less is more. Recovery. It's all about recovery and eating right and using your time wisely. You can go to the gym. I can go to the gym for five hours. Thing is, if I went to the gym for five hours, I would leave in a body bag because I do everything correctly. I would overload myself. If you go to the gym, you know, and you use your time efficiently, you don't need a lot of time. You don't need a lot of time. You do a proper bodybuilding split, you don't need a lot of time. You just need to do it correctly and focused. Anyway, I'm done raging. That's a long episode, but fire in the hole. Fire in the motherfucking hole. Daily swole. The daily mother 55 swole. And yeah, go get your pump on. It's fucking thirsty Thursday. Let's get shitty. Let's get pumped. Let's get amped up. I am on Sour Patch Kids pre-workout and Bulletproof Coffee. I am on fire. I am 
absolutely, my eyes are coming out of my head. I hope half of that shit that I just said was coherent. Oh, it felt good though. It felt good. I'm fucking amped. I am fucking amped. I'll see you all tomorrow at 12 noon Eastern time. Pizzleese. <laughs> oh, baby. I am. I'm rolling. Still rolling. Still rolling.